School administrators likely do not want to prepare for a shooting inside of their building, but it is something for which they must prepare. And the thought of any kind of incident is why district leaders in Fruitport designed their new high school with safety in mind, right down to the shape of the school's hallways. 13 on your side, John Mills has more on the design elements that will provide an extra layer of protection for students, teachers, and the staff. From all the doors to the school's two long curved hallways, architects were thinking about safety when designing this new high school. Workers are busy building the $48 million Fruitport High School. Our contractors are making tremendous progress. When completed, some of the school will be new. Sections of the existing school will get major renovations. In the new section, students, teachers, and staff will find curved hallways. To cut down on the sight lines if we have an active shooter in the building. Fruitport Superintendent. Lieutenant Bob Schmoniak says by reducing the sight lines, anyone with malicious intent will never be able to see the entire length of the hallway. Then we also built these cement blocks that help to cut down on the sight lines further. It also gives an opportunity for students to hide back behind and hopefully get help from within the classroom. And then within the classroom, we could take about 40 students and put them back in that corner, and a person in the hallway wouldn't be able to tell that there was anybody in this room. Another safety feature is being added to doors. Access control locks on all of the doors in our school district. That will allow school leaders to lock down the entire district with a push of one button. And on classroom windows. Put impact resistant film. It's the kind of safety changes that will likely be added to new schools around the country. These are going to be design elements that are just natural part of buildings going into the future. Funding for the school was part of a bond voters passed in 2016. The entire project won't finish until 2021. Because of all the construction this year, back to school will include a year of parking challenges. And for a time, students won't have lockers. But Schmoniak says in the end, the final product will be worth any temporary inconveniences. Our ask is that our community be very understanding keep the eyes on the prize. When our high school is done, it's going to be magnificent. A community open house is being planned for October and a special event will be held in December to mark the opening of all the new classrooms. In Fruitport, John Mills, 13 on your side.